Hold on for a stormy night. We could be in for the metro area's worst hail of the season so far. And out east, tornado warnings have been popping off one after another. Denver and Aurora are in the bullseye right now. Lots of heavy hail falling. Some reports are half dollar sized. If you were in it, you don't need me to tell you it is loud. Out on the eastern plains, tornadoes touched down near Akron. They were under tornado warnings for hours, with two tornadoes touching down at the exact same time. We're checking with first responders out there about possible damage. Out in Sterling, several inches of rain in one afternoon is just way too much for the streets to handle. Daryl sharing this video of the flooding in his neighborhood tonight. Danielle Grant, so we got Act 1 this afternoon. Brief intermission, <laughs> Act 2 right now. Ooh, lighting up the night sky, you guys. The storm system sitting right atop downtown Denver. Back behind it, still quite the lightning show, plus the hail. We're dealing with hail pushing directly here to the city, something we have been waiting on throughout the afternoon, where most of the action was off to the eastern plains. Tonight, the focus returns to downtown. We are under a severe thunderstorm watch until 10 p.m. Would not be surprised if we see that extended out. And then a severe thunderstorm warning directly across downtown Denver and then further off to the east. Adams Arapaho, Denver and Jefferson County. See this area in blue kind of near Park Hill. That's the hail court. That's where we're experiencing uh, the largest hail within this cell. It's shifting to the east ever so slowly. I mean, it is just crawling about 10 miles per hour. A lot of lightning as you push out toward DIA. This definitely could be impacting folks out there. But again, heavy rain and a whole lot of lightning and thunder out to the west. We go another severe thunderstorm warning into the foothills. This storm system has just been building upon itself, dropping so much rain, so there's still more in the pipeline to push back in here to the city. So this storm system that's over us, it's just the beginning. Northern Colorado out there toward Fort Collins into the foothills, still looking pretty ominous. Storms just to the northeast of Greeley and still around I-76. It has been busy. The eastern plains looking at the storms primarily across the far eastern side of the state now, but around Sterling and Akron where we saw those tornadoes earlier this afternoon, we saw anywhere between two, three, four inches of rain come down. So Flash flood warnings are going to continue until at least 1030 tonight. Look at this. The dew points 50s and 60s. This is something rare that we see for the Denver metro area and off to the eastern plains. This is just showcasing how much moisture is in the atmosphere. The winds have been cranking 20 to 30 miles per hour. As we go throughout the next couple of hours, these storms will shift ever so slowly off to the east. By 7 o'clock, we get a brief break tomorrow morning before we do it all over again tomorrow afternoon. Meteorologist Lauren Robinson, she has been on the ground tracking these storms, kind of following them. Lauren, it sounds like you're right smack dab in the middle of it. And that's exactly right. We are under this storm right now. We're at Colfax and Race Street, and we're continuing our way eastward. We've been following this storm since it hit Lakewood or so, but let's go ahead and take a look outside at what we're dealing with. We did have some heavy hail here and there. It looks like we're under another period of heavy hail where this storm has been reported to have hail anywhere between dime to quarter size. Lots of heavy downpours, lightning and thunder. You can even see some street flooding here as we continue to move off. Uh, take a look off to the sides where the cars are parked. Those uh, water levels are rising up the tire marks here. We're also seeing lots of uh, lightning and thunder winds potentially gusting up to around 50 miles per hour. And as you said, the storm is continuing its way eastward. It pushed right through the middle of downtown downtown Denver dropping hail and heavy downpours along the way. So we are going to continue to monitor this storm as it moves its way eastward again. We're on Colfax going east uh, right now. We're about to approach York Street. So if you are on the roads or have to be on the roads this evening, uh, you want to try to, I guess, limit any sort of travel options because uh, we are seeing these cars uh, not doing too well. We were on Highway 6 uh, maybe about 10 minutes ago and we were seeing lots of cars doing exactly what you're not supposed to be doing and they were stopping under the overpasses under the bridges as hail started dropping and that was causing a lot of uh, congestion and hazardous travel for other drivers behind those cars that were stopped along the underpass and uh, and the bridges there so again we're going to continue to monitor this storm we have the severe thunderstorm warning right over downtown Denver until around 9 of that also have uh, some strong off into the plains all day long. Right now we have Kelly Rinky out near Greeley uh, following some storms there. So Kelly, what are you seeing? 
Hey Lauren, stay safe out there. Well, it's pretty stormy here in Greeley, but the weather relatively calm, just a little bit of lightning, a little bit of rain, but it was nothing like what we saw in Brighton earlier this evening. Take a look at some video we took just a couple of hours ago. The wind picked up and that storm pounded the area. Pea sized hail came down pretty hard, forcing a lot of people to take cover at a gas station, including some very good boys. They were just waiting for their TV moment. Those golden retrievers were so cute, but unfortunately we saw someone that wasn't able to get under cover as quickly. We saw a guy caught in the storm on his bicycle. It was a pretty bad day to forget a helmet. Hopefully he was able to get home. Okay, too. the roads heading up north. They are pretty okay. A little wet. Just take it easy, but some of those secondary roads we were seeing some flooding as the storm was making its way east. So if you were heading out late tonight, just make sure you are taking it nice and easy. Guys, back to you. Yep, just a good good wash there for Greeley as Denver and Aurora get their good wash right now. Kelly, thank you. The storms are still going on the eastern plains where that tornado warning started about three o'clock and just kept going for five hours. At least 18 tornado warnings issued this afternoon outside of Sterling and Akron. At one point, our Corey Reppenhagen looked like he was reporting from the dark of night when it wasn't. It was just that dark out there. Now it is actually night, Corey, and what are you seeing? Well, I'm in Hudson right now, and uh, a, a thunderstorm just moved through here. It's severe warmed, and it's kicking some uh, strong winds back out towards me. I may be able to catch that one that's coming out of the Denver metro area when I'm done here, but it was really quite an experience to watch the mechanics of these thunderstorms today. Uh, like you said, past 18 uh, tornado warnings. That's the second time May 8th had 17. So this is the most tornado warnings we've seen since 2014. And when I was watching these things develop, uh, it's no surprise that there were many tornadoes reported today. One that I was able to witness develop just south of Akron. You, uh, we may be able to show you some video of that. They had multiple vortices. And what I mean by that is that there was one main tornado and then there were several smaller funnels and one of those funnels touched down so there are actually multiple vortices on the ground at the same time just south of Akron off of Highway 63. Now fortunately uh, as far as we can tell so far this tornado only hit power lines and knocked power lines down across Highway 63. They're closing the road but we haven't heard of any more significant tornado damage but the flooding and hail damage will probably be significant. We'll calculate that uh, when it comes tomorrow. Uh, there's uh, buildings, uh, an, uh, an office building was uh, brought down by heavy rain in Sterling. So these are all things that we'll have to check out as we continue to monitor, monitor these storms that move through here tonight. Yeah, tonight, a rare night shift for Corey Repenhagen storm chasing because it's a rare night shift for the weather. All yeah. right. Thank you, Corey.